Are you or someone you know grappling with the challenge of peripheral neuropathy? Symptoms like numbness, tingling, pins and needles, burning sensations, and even sharp or cramping pain can become a daily reality. Not to mention muscle weakness, balance issues, and coordination problems. These are just a few of the symptoms that peripheral neuropathy sufferers may experience making simple joys of life seem out of reach. And if that isn't bad enough, couple that with the fact that most neuropathy sufferers are left hopeless because their doctors have told them this condition is permanent and they'll just have to learn to live with it even though it will worsen. Well, here's the good news. Peripheral nerves can heal. They can be repaired and you don't have to live with this miserable condition any longer. This isn't our opinion. This is all backed by numerous research. So in today's video, I'll share the scientific evidence on how peripheral nerves heal, what challenges can pose a roadblock for nerve repair, and the necessary tools needed to repair and regenerate a peripheral nerve, all backed by science. You really don't wanna miss this. Coming up. Hey gang, Dr. M here. If you're ready to conquer your peripheral neuropathy, reclaim your life, and start living again, then subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to click on the bell to get notified as soon as we publish new content. Now, let's dive in. The first thing I wanna do is give you a very basic understanding of your very complex nervous system, which consists of two parts. The central nervous system is comprised of the brain and the spinal cord. And the peripheral nervous system is an intricate network of nerves connecting every part of your body from head to toe. So think of your peripheral nervous system as a bridge of communication, enabling messages to flow seamlessly between your brain and the rest of your body, including your limbs, internal organs, and even your face. When these crucial nerves become damaged, the lines of communication can become distorted, leading to a range of distressing and bizarre symptoms like numbness, tingling, pins and needle sensations, burning, stabbing, or lightning bolt type of pain. Even sharp or cramping pain can become a daily torture. Depending upon which part of the peripheral nerve is damaged, it can also result in muscle weakness, balance issues, and lack of coordination. Other symptoms neuropathy sufferers may endure are extreme sensitivity to touch, meaning they might not be able to tolerate the bed sheets touching their legs or even the sensation of their clothing against their skin. Now, there's another part of the peripheral nervous system called the autonomic nerves that when damaged can cause dysfunction within internal organs. Depending upon the organ system, it can result in problems like an abnormal drop in blood pressure, bowel or bladder dysfunction, digestive problems, or even sexual dysfunction. Now, chances are, if you've seen a doctor, you've probably been told that peripheral neuropathy has no cure. It's a permanent condition and you just have to learn to live with it. Has anyone out there heard this message? So often I hear from my patients how this completely crushed their hopes of ever living a normal life again. Please leave me a comment and tell me how it left you feeling if you heard this me message. Well, here's the accurate truth there's a much brighter and more optimistic reality. Science has shown that peripheral nerves have the remarkable ability to regenerate and repair themselves. You heard me correctly. This process known as nerve reinnervation has been documented extensively in reputable, reputable journals such as the Journal of Neurology, the Journal of Oncology, and the British Medical Journal amongst many others. Now, before I dive into the scientific evidence, I want you to look at nerve repair and regeneration from a common sense perspective, which so often we forfeit because we expect our doctors to know everything when the reality is that's an impossible task. So it's important for you to be able to exercise your own common sense because it will carry you far. So let's look at this scenario. When a person cuts off a finger or a toe, a surgeon will reattach the digit, and with time, the person will regain full function. This has even been done with arms and other body parts. 
Do any of you recall the story of John and Lorena Bobbitt? Well, if nerves did not heal, if they could not be repaired, or if they didn't have the ability to regenerate, it would be impossible to regain function in the surgically attached digit or the limb. Okay, so here's what common sense tells us. If nerve repair is completely possible for a severed limb that's been surgically reattached, shouldn't it be equally possible to repair a peripheral nerve that's only been partially damaged? Doesn't it make more sense that it would be easier to repair the damaged nerve versus a nerve that's been cut in two? Of course it does. Well, let's look at what the scientific evidence reveals. This is one of many studies I want you to take a look at that proves that peripheral nerves can regenerate and have restored normal function. And this is only one of many studies on nerve repair. I'll leave several links of the other studies that prove this as well. So let me walk you through the basic physiology of how a damaged nerve can undergo repair and regeneration or regrowth. When a nerve gets damaged, various cellu cellular signals are triggered. The most critical signal triggered is for the release of growth factors, which are chemical messengers that promote new nerve growth and survival. The long tubular body of the nerve, called an axon, will begin to sprout new extensions. As these extensions grow, they'll be guided by specific molecules in their path that act as signposts, helping them reach their target tissues. Once the destination is reached, the nerve will form new connections and reestablish communication with the other nerve cells. As more axons regenerate and reconnect successfully, the neuropathy symptoms begin to improve and normal function will be restored for that person. So it's clear cut that nerves can heal, which means you don't have to settle for a life stuck in misery anymore. I think we can all agree that this is great news. However, there are a few facts I haven't mentioned yet. If there's a significant amount of damage to the nerve and the body is lacking the appropriate tools for repair, then the nerves won't have the capability to fully heal. For instance, if you lack adequate circulation, this can limit your nerve's healing capacity. Your nerves depend upon a healthy blood flow to deliver sufficient oxygen and nutrients for healthy nerve function, repair, and regeneration. Or if you suffer from mitochondrial dysfunction, this too can impair the nerve's ability to heal due to having insufficient nitric oxide levels. I'll leave a link below for a video that we did on nitric oxide that will go into uh, a lot more explanation on this. Also, it's possible for your nerves to hit a few, ro a few roadblocks during the process of repair and regeneration, which could halt or drastically limit the healing capabilities of the nerves. Let's look at a few examples of these roadblocks. Certain medications are known culprits for inhibiting nerve repair and causing more nerve damage. One of the largest offending agents on the market are the cholesterol-lowering drugs known as statins. You may have heard of them by their generic names like atorvastatin, lovastatin, and many others that end in the word statin are in this class. They also go by brand names such as Lipitor and Zocor, and these are just a few examples. Statins have been shown to block nerve re and cause more damage. They wreak havoc and cause damage with both the myelin sheath of the nerve affecting the sensory portion and the nerve axon, which will affect the motor portion of the nerve. Unfortunately, the damage caused by statin drugs doesn't stop here. Research has revealed that statins also increase your risk for developing type 2 diabetes. Now, I wish I could say this is the only class of drugs on the market that can cause peripheral nerve damage, but it's not. There's a class of antibiotics called fluoroquinolones that do severe damage to peripheral nerves. They include antibiotics like Cipro or Levaquin. The generic form will end in Floxacin, like Ciprofloxacin or Levofloxacin. There is also a class of antihypertensives or blood pressure medications known as calcium channel blockers that can do substantial damage to peripheral nerves with long-term use. The generic form of these drugs will commonly end in peen, such as amlodipine or philodipine. And there are many more drugs than the few I've just mentioned that can cause peripheral neuropathy. 
If you want to learn more about this, go on ahead and make sure you watch these videos. Now, I do need to issue a warning to you. Never stop any drug abruptly without the guidance of your doctor. This could be harmful to your health. So here's another extremely common roadblock. When the nerve is going through its repair process, there are numerous tools your body needs to facilitate the repair process. And if they're not present or accessible, it'll be unlikely that your nerves will undergo repair. The tools I'm referring to are neurotrophic nutrients, which are biomolecules of vitamins, antioxidants, minerals, and even certain amino acids. And their function is to support the growth, survival, and the development of new healthy nerve fibers. The specific nutrients that have been proven in scientific research to promote nerve repair, recovery, and assist in nerve growth are benfodiamine, the fat-soluble form of B1, pyridoxal 5-phosphate, the only safe form of vitamin B6 that won't cause nerve damage, methylcobalamin, the natural and most absorbable form of B12, and folate, the natural methylated form of vitamin B9. Your nerves also need R alpha lipoic acid, and it's important to make sure you see the letter R before the alpha lipoic acid. Lion's mane has also proven to be extremely beneficial for nerve recovery, and acetyl L carnitine and L citrulline are other vital nutrients. In fact, over 100 clinical studies have confirmed that these critical neurotrophic nutrients can aid in repairing damaged peripheral nerves and alleviating symptoms of peripheral neuropathy. We filmed a couple of videos that will go deeper into how these nutrients work and how much of them you'll need. And I'll leave links in the description box for these two videos that you see over my shoulder. Okay, it's important to realize the most common medical approach to treating peripheral neuropathy is with the use of drugs like gabapentin or neurotin, Lyrica or pregabalin, and Cymbalta or duloxetine. However, none of these drugs repair nerve damage. They simply manage the symptoms at best. So when a doctor says that peripheral neuropathy can't be cured, what they're really saying is that it can't be cured with the tools they have available to them, which are the drugs like Lyrica, Gabapentin, and others. And this would be correct. But it doesn't mean there aren't other methods for repairing these nerves. Quite often, after one of these videos, viewers will reach out to us and ask us to please share exactly what we do for our patients. So today we'll share our protocol with you. By the way, we developed this protocol after almost two decades of working with more than 17,000 cases of peripheral neuropathy. First, we always start our patients on the critical nutrients for nerve repair. These are the nutrients I mentioned before shown in research to assist with nerve repair and regeneration. Now, when we first started, we had patients purchase seven different bottles to get all of the nutrients. And in order to take the correct amounts as outlined in the research, they were commonly taking 20 pills per day. As you can imagine, patients weren't really happy with this. Not to mention that if they went out and bought cheaper ingredients on their own, they wouldn't work and they wouldn't get the results. So we realized we had to standardize this for patients so they had far less pills to take. And we could also make sure that they were getting the proper amounts of the nutrients in a good quality product. That's how we developed our formulas, Neforia CM Gold and Nerve Defense. And they serve as the basic foundation to our protocol. These formulas were created specifically for our patients and we've been using them for more than a decade. We only really recently released them to the public within the last couple of years at the request of our patients. Now, please realize you don't have to buy our formulas. You can use whatever nerve support formula you want, but it's extremely important to make sure the formula is a good quality formula with all of the critical nutrients present for nerve repair and in the proper amounts. Otherwise, it simply won't work. If you watch the videos I did on this topic, you'll know exactly what to look for um, and which is important because there's so much crap on the market nowadays. For severe cases, we use photobiomodulation, which allows for the fastest and most complete recovery. We also recommend our patients follow either an anti-inflammatory diet 
or a healthy ketogenic diet, along with engaging in specific exercises for, for peripheral neuropathy. We have videos on these exercises that are available to you, and we've also done videos explaining what photobiomodulation is and how it works. So I'll leave those links for you below. Also, if you've lost balance or coordination, using a vibrational plate is extremely beneficial. There you have it in a nutshell, gang. If you or someone you know is dealing with the challenges of peripheral neuropathy, it's important to understand that there is hope. Peripheral nerves have the incredible ability to heal, repair, and even regenerate. This isn't just a hopeful message. It's backed by solid scientific research. Despite the outdated information some doctors may provide, we now know that peripheral neuropathy is not a permanent, untreatable condition. Now, I'd like to ask for a personal favor. If you found value in this video, please support us by subscribing and liking the video. We place a tremendous amount of time into creating this content to help neuropathy sufferers overcome this battle and to know they're not alone. By liking us and sharing this video, it can help us reach so many more people who need our help and need to hear this message. It's our mission to form a worldwide neuropathy-free tribe where people refuse to accept this horrible condition. Also, don't forget to click on the bell to get notified as soon as we release new content. Until next time, dear ones, I look forward to seeing you on the road to great nerve health. Blessings.